Ooh, all kinds of energy back here. There's somebody standing over there in the door. Shauna, stand up. Okay, Mike and Shauna here back at 217 Terror Haunted House. Really excited to get back in here since it is very different than the last time we were here. Hi, my name is Adam Cathers, and I am the owner of 217 Terror Haunted House. Well, recently, about four weeks before we opened October 5th, uh, the State Fire Marshal's Office had came in and advised us that they didn't feel comfortable with us running as a haunted house because we didn't have an indoor sprinkler system. So at the last moment, we had to move everything outside into our second haunt. So we've been primarily running outside and the house has been empty. So with the house being different, with the haunt being outside now, and I did hear something in the other room over here, I'm looking forward to how this is going to be different, how the spirits have reacted to that and some of the news of um, what may happen to the house. Yeah, so this is what taken down. Yeah, this was, uh, the clown stuff was back in here, right? What's up? What'd you feel? Ooh, all kinds of energy back here. It was like, it was like just walking into a just giant mess of like buzzing. Well, this is the way we were led before last year. I'm gonna come in, okay? Maybe I should have warned that I was coming through. Okay to be back here. Ah, uh, here was the place for the. <laughs> the crematorium. Yep. That guy's head is no longer down there. No. This stuff is still up. Yeah. Well, all that stuff isn't still hanging down there. Let's see, I know something was going on back here last time. Mm. Some of this was original. Me. No, it wasn't. You know, it wasn't Floor Creek. It was a whisper. When my dad was back here talking to Adam the last time, um, I was standing in the doorway and there was some stuff going on. Um, and they were still talking and my dad kept looking over. <laughs> I think uh, the better judgment is going to bring the house down. Yes, I do believe strongly that the spirits know the, the entire house has taken on a whole different feeling. And now when you walk through there, there's this strong sense of just sadness and depression. Yeah, see this is before I was pointing out, you know, original part of the house here with the cabinets yeah. and everything. And this is what? 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 
saw a little ball of light. Hello? Where'd you go? James or Sarah or somebody else? Was it a little twinkle or was it an actual ball of light? It was, um, it was twinkle colored. It was right there where you're standing that we got the cold spot last time. It is super frigid here. It is really cold, yep. Really nauseous, really bad. I've got to get out of here. Okay. Yeah, I don't have a cold spot, but it doesn't feel good right there. You're going to get like staticky on my face. Oh, I'm. <laughs> just... Yeah, this area back here always kind of does it for you. So last year, there was a wall over here that no longer exists. Some of the original windows, mm -hmm. right? There's this big old doorway here, a little doorway there that goes to the steps. This big parlor door here. This way. Something sneak up behind you? I like something to tap me on the back. Hello? Who's back here? Do you want to say hello? We're friendly, I promise. We've been here before. We were here last year. Yeah, we came Exactly a year ago. Year. Take a peek through here. Still have a lot of them in here, which is great. You still following us around? One of the ghosts that we feel is in here is Sarah Miller. And back in 1988, they were widening the road and they found the headstone. A couple years ago, we had a gentleman approach us and said that he grew up in the house. And he started telling us stories that when him and his little sister lived here, they were about eight, nine, ten years old. Uh, there was a room upstairs where there was a cabinet. And they described Sarah to a T and even called her out by name. And that she would hide, play hide and seek with them. But she would only hide in that cabinet. What's going on in there? talk about seeing an old part of the house. Shit. What? Someone keeps like, grabbing at my arm. We weren't able to get in here last year. in here. Yeah. This has really been untouched by the haunted house. Although it does look like they're using the one window over there to spook people out of this part here hasn't been touched by the haunted house. So it's really a great example of the original architecture. Ladies first. I know you don't want to be in here last.
severed body. Yeah, the yeah, severed body is moved from here. Turned around okay. Oh, hey, that's moving. Mm -hmm. The uh okay. last time we had those big meat things. <laughs> yeah, we had to walk here to get into here. It's not here. They really move the bed offside. Surprised by that. This is where the bed was. Drunk kids screaming downstairs. Nice. They were standing in the doorway and that curtain was moving. Yeah, the curtain was moving in that doorway right there. That blew out a lot further. Come on in. Come on in. Come join us. Please? It would be fantastic to talk to you. Or Sarah, if you're around, playing around. We could play hide and seek with you. What happened to the bed? Your bed. It was right here last time we were here. Sarah, we think you were playing with the curtains over there when the curtains had been hanging down. We return to the dressing room. Note that the SLS camera records a mirrored image, so we flipped it here to show the room correctly. alcohol and we heard shuffling from over there and one of the stories is that Verda would shuffle because of her mini lobotomies which is sad yeah her Verda's sister Lucy was prominent but she had OCD in the 1940s that was a mental disease so they were heading out to California her husband took his prominent job with law firm drops her ass off in Kansas City at a mental institution, it just leaves her. They gave her, they did so many lobotomies on this poor lady that it wow. reduced her down to like a five-year-old. Wow. Well, they finally contacted her next of kin, which they found Verna. So she goes out by train, gets her, brings her back here. What is this room? video's sake. I heard the shuffling was over there. Like it was coming into the door. When I sat down to look at the SLS camera, someone else appeared in the room. I don't want you to be afraid to come in here or shy. Shauna, stand up. Is that you? Is that her name? Berta? Yeah. 
Is it a small? No, it's adult size. Hello? Berta? Yeah, I'm, I'm waving hi. I should have my other camera here. But it's just, just don't, they're standing at the door because that's you sitting. Do you think it'll move if I come over? I don't know, you could try. It did, it disappeared. Damn it. I'm it booked right out of there. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, come back. Please come back. I didn't mean to scare you when I got up. Did it record? Yeah, I have it recording. Go ahead and sit back down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go we, gotta we gotta test to make sure that it wasn't something um, weird with you sitting down, maybe something reflective or I'm whatever. I'm gonna go sit back down, okay? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, to do that. Yep, and there you are sitting down, and whatever was in the doorway is gone. I am so sorry. Please come back in here. Berta, is that you? I am so sorry. No, no, it's okay. It was, hey, you can come back. It's okay. It's okay. Come it's on. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. You can, you can come back. You can come back. You can come back. It's all right. I wonder how long it'd been in the doorway. Yeah, because there's, that's you sitting down right there. And now that I have a better light on you, I can actually see you in this. Yeah, they're right in the damn door. Actually, you are inside the room. It's right there. Right inside the room. There was somebody standing right there. Right there. I wonder if that was the hay that I heard. Maybe. I want you to come back. I want to meet you so bad. You were standing right over there. So go ahead, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Click that bell icon to get notifications of all of our latest videos. And then we have all these other great haunted videos here on the side for you to watch. I'm Mike Ricksecker. Till next time.